Salang, officially the municipality of Salang, Tagalog, Bayan ng Salang, is a first class municipality in the province of Cavite, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 248,085 people. Salang is located in the eastern section of Cavite. It is home to the Philippine National Police Academy, PDEA Academy, and International Institute of Rural Reconstruction Head Office. With the continuous expansion of Metro Manila, the municipality is now part of the Manila's conurbation which spans southward toward Lipa City. Geography The municipality of Salang is 43 kilometers 27 miles south of Manila. General Trias, Desmarinas and General Mariano Alvarez GMA, bounded on the north and on the west by Amadio, Tagaytay on the south. Salang is noted for its relatively cool and invigorating climate. Barangay Salang is politically subdivided into 64 barangays. Etymology The name Salang was derived from the Tagalog word Salangan and meaning eastern, because the town is seated at the eastern portion of Cavite. A legend claims that it was coined from the Tagalog word Isaniling or given birth to, referring to the sudden and unusual emergence of the parish church. It may also refer to the new emergence of the land from the eruption of Tall Volcano on May 15, 1754. Whereas, three barangays of Salang are called Tubuan I, II and III. History pre-Hispanic period The traditional origins of the town are attributed to ten Bornean Datus who sailed northward on board Balangays and ended in Salang through Tall Lake. Its first settlers were Gat Hinjib, his wife Gat Kalivanog, and their seven children, who later moved to different parts of the town and established their respective barangays. Gat Pandan stayed in the original community and developed the area. Spanish colonial era During the start of the Spanish colonization of the Philippines, tracts of land were given by the King of Spain to the conquistadores and their descendants, who collected tributes from the people residing in their acquired lands. Salang originally belonged to the encomienda land grant of Diego Jorge de Villalobos, his claim extended to what is today the towns of Carmona, Amadio, Indong, Alfonso, General Trias, and Tanza. The Salang encomienda was later purchased from King Ferdinand VI of Spain for 2,000 pesetas on March 9, 1746 to prevent it from becoming a friar land like the other towns of Cavite, executed through the representation of Bernabe Javier Manahan and Gervasio de la Cruz. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Salang, Cavite, was 248,085 people, with a density of 1,200 inhabitants per square kilometer or 3,100 inhabitants per square mile. Religion The majority of the people in Salang are adherents of the Christian faith, composed of Roman Catholics, Protestants, and members of independent Christian groups. Majority of the Christian population is composed of Roman Catholics. Other Christian groups in the town include mainstream Protestants, congregations of Mormons, and other churches are also present in the town. With the influx of migrants from other provinces, other non-Christian faiths, particularly Islam, is practiced in the town. Economy Salang, like most of the towns in the province of Cavite, depends on a mainly agricultural economy. The primary crops grown in the area are coconut, coffee, corn, banana, pineapple, and tree crops like mango, lanswans, caimito, santal, jackfruit, guava, and avocado. Fertile soils and abundant water sources make Salang suitable not only for common commercial crops but also for high-value and exotic crops production. Most of the local farmers practice intercropping to increase land productivity and lessen soil erosion. Fruit production exceeds the demand of the municipality's population, thus, supply excesses are marketed to Metro Manila and neighboring urban centers. A number of poultry and swine farms are also located in some rural barangays. Manufacturing and trade are Salang's other major sources of income. Trade and investments grew tremendously with the influx of both Manila-based and foreign investors. Total investments were estimated at P2.5 billion between 1996 and 2004, which helped bring about the employment of 3,000 people. Despite the slowdown of progress in 2004, land value still soared, allowing investors to infiltrate and start business. 
The investment trend resulted in the increase in the price of prime realty from P3,000 to P15,000 per square meters and from P150 to P500 per square meter for raw lots in interior barangays. Trade establishments in Salang include gasoline stations, convenience stores, lumber, hardware traders, groceries, resorts, and hotels. The dry goods section of the Salang public market can now accommodate 228 stalls. Salang houses the Magayam Industrial Complex and the Daichi Industrial Complex in addition to a total of 10 factories operating outside the export processing zone. Transportation Salang can be reached by bus, or by jeepney. Coming from Manila, it will take two hours to reach the town proper. Salang is accessible by land transportation. Major road networks to and from Laguna and Batangas traverse it making the town a potential trading center for agricultural products while enjoying an environment that is free of traffic and pollution problems. Commuters are assured of smooth travel within the borders of the municipality with of its good road networks of approximately 187.83 km. Six major road projects were completed in 1996. These are the Bulahan Resettlement Area Road, the 8km Kayong Magayam Road, the Karamanzana Drive connecting the Salang Public Market with Aguinaldo Highway, the 2km Sabutan Iba Road, the DPWH-funded STA. Rosa Salang Tagaytay Road, and the Malabag Road. Landmarks Luxuhan Natural Bridge or Cabig Caves Our Lady of Candelaria Parish Church of Salang Local Government Elected Officials Mayor, Emilia Lords. Emil. F. Poblete Vice Mayor, Bellamide, Adel Paul Garcia Sanguniang Bayan Members Doniza, Ronilo Aracacap Amudan, Ferdinand Cabrera Toledo, Mark Anthony Alcaraz Batingal, Luis Jr. V Patawe, Nestor Vicente De Jesus, Luciano Jr. Palmero, Tolentino, Alan Amon, Pablete, Nolasco C. LNB President, Ortega, Domingo. List of former executives Gobernador Silo, leader of Pueblo or Bayan during Spanish era. As the effect of the Moral Law in 1893, the Tribunal del Pueblo was changed to Tribunal Municipal and leaders of municipalities were called Capitan Municipal. Victor Bilardo 1893–1894 Nicolas Montoya 1895–1896 Martin Medina 1896 Isadora Montoya 1896–1897 Marcelo Matlansique, former governor Solo, 1897. Vicente Poblete, 1897 to 1898. Jose Kiamzan, 1898 to 1901. During the American period, the Second Commission passed the Municipal Code, Act Number no. 82, that created municipalities. The leaders were called Presidente Municipal. First elections were held 1903, Salang Historical Society Municipal Mayors Education Public High Schools Kayong National High School Lumal National High School General Vito L. Bellarmino National High School Malabag National High School Munting Ilog National High School, Maine Bulahan National High School Emilia Ambalada Poblete National High School formerly, Munting Ilog National High School Salang West Annex private schools Catholic Schools The Sisters of Mary School, Boys Town, Atlas Campus 
The Sisters of Mary School, Girls Town, Biga Campus. Father Michael Donaher Memorial School. Regationist College. Sacred Heart Villa School. Street. Scholastica's College, West Grove. Infant Jesus Academy of Salang. Risen Christ Catholic School. Paraclete Foundation Community School. Colleges, state colleges and universities. Gallery References External links General Ignacio Paua Park